Hey y'all, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to be doing a video all about what you should take with you to flight attendant training. I know what I just said, things that you should take with you. But some of these things, if you think it would be better to just get them there when you're at your training location, definitely do that. Different airlines have different amounts of bags that you're allowed to take. So if it's easier for you to just buy some of these things where you're there, do that. So I'm gonna do this in four categories. I have clothing, school supplies, toiletries, and miscellaneous. I'm gonna try to rush through clothing because I feel like I shouldn't have to do a whole video about it. Your airline is gonna tell you exactly what you should bring. But just my recommendations, I'm just gonna hit on a couple of things. I would say make sure you have at least one full suit. If you're a male or a female, you need one full suit. Make sure pants that you're wearing, business professional, full length, all black, that's how my airline said. If your airline lets you wear like pinstripes and things like that, go ahead, do you. I would bring a good amount of those. I brought four pairs of black pants to training and I only ended up wearing two because by the time I wore one, not gonna lie, I wore them for a couple days. If you don't mind wearing the black pants more than once in a row, do that. If you do mind, don't do that. If you're gonna wash your laundry every day, then it doesn't matter, bring one pair for all I care. But just don't be like me and bring like six different pairs of black pants. Blazers, I brought three blazers to training and they were all black. Looking back at it now, I probably would only bring one or two blazers, probably just one. If your business suit comes with pants, that's already one pair of your pants. If your business suit comes with a skirt, wear that skirt with a blouse. Like there's so many different things that you could do. Do not rake the bank right now. I promise you, you're gonna need that money. <laughs> so what I would do, what I did when I got ready for training, I think I had a vlog about it. I was at thrift stores, I was at Plato's Closet, I was, trying to dig some old stuff out from old job interviews that I had done. Shirts, shirt like this, not gonna work. Make sure that your blouses, long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever they are, make sure they're high on the neck or collared, something like that. We don't need to see all this cleavage. All this I got going on right now, not appropriate. Make sure that you have enough shirts. Men, you might need a little bit more shirts than women because we can wear dresses and things like that. But let's just make sure that we have enough clean shirts to get us through training. Another thing I was saying about the clothing list being airline specific, some airlines have uniforms for you to wear. Like they just tell you to bring white polos and they'll give you a jacket that you're gonna be wearing in the training facility for most of your days there. But other airlines might have you wearing business casual every day where you have to come up with your whole outfit. You never know. I suggest bringing one or two black pencil skirts. Very, very simple maybe one full length dress or if dresses are your thing as many dresses as you feel like wearing if you're just not into pants i would still suggest bringing at least one pair of pants ladies because you have certain days where you're doing things like going down the slide that i highly doubt you want to be doing wearing a dress or a skirt shoes go ahead and spend some good money on the shoes because you can get your shoes approved that you're going to be wearing on the line so whether you're one of those people who want to wear two different pairs of shoes, one for the airport and then a more comfortable pair on the plane, that's you. Go ahead and get the shoes that you like. I'm gonna have some brands on the screen right now. My favorite, I think I wear Clarks right now and I love my Clarks, some people don't like them. Just try out some different pairs. You can break them in during training, that's perfect. But as for the shoes, like I said, check your training packet and see if they have to be black, not just on the line, but during training. I think during my training, us ladies were able to wear any color shoes, but once we got on the line, we had to wear black shoes. So it all depends. Males, make sure you're not wearing brown shoes if you're not allowed to wear brown shoes. If they only can be black, make sure you're reading that training packet so you won't get in trouble. Okay, let's leave the training center and talk about some clothes. You're gonna be wanting to go out, go out to eat, or just you need to have some going out clothes. Don't go overboard. You're gonna wanna leave the hotel eventually. Even if you're just going to Target, you need something to wear. So don't forget about those type of clothes too. Along with your going out clothes, you're also gonna need to think about pajamas and workout clothes. Another clothing item that I would suggest is a swimsuit. I wish that I would have brought one. Okay, now let's talk about some accessories. Earrings. Small studs like this is what I suggest for women. You don't want to get in trouble over something stupid like your earrings. Make sure you have a watch. A working watch is a part of your uniform. You pantyhose. You're gonna need a lot of pantyhose. Different airlines have different rules about that. Some of them you don't have to wear any at all. Some of them can only be skin toned. Some of them can only be black. There's so many different rules. Like I said, airline specific, make sure you have those. Belts. 
A lot of airlines are really strict on the belts. The color, if you have belt loops, you have to wear them. So many different things that they can get you on for belts. Keep in mind, I'm saying this stuff just so you know what to bring, but also you can get kicked out for some of these required items. If they tell you you have to wear a watch, you have to wear a watch. And how dumb would it be if you got kicked out because you forgot to bring a watch? I would say bring an extra watch. I am one of those people, I always have a backup in my bag. I think that's everything with clothing. Like I said, they'll give you a full list of things that you should bring, and I'm gonna have a list in the description box of things that I think that you should bring. Let's do toiletries real quick. Now, I'm just gonna list off a whole bunch of things because you guys know what toiletries are. You know what you're gonna need. Feminine hygiene products, body wash, hair wash, shampoo, conditioner, brush, comb, floss, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, all of this stuff, you're gonna need it. Ladies, you're for sure gonna need some makeup wipes if you're wearing makeup. Don't forget to bring a ton of those. And guys, you are gonna need razors and shaving cream. Ladies, if you wanna shave, obviously you're gonna need that too. But men, being in the airline industry, they are really, really strict on facial hair and stuff like that. Ladies, if you got facial hair, you gotta clean that up too, I suppose. That's your business. Along with toiletries, I also wanted to say, make sure you're bringing your vitamins, any minerals, and medications that you have. Do not forget those things. Very important. Next, let's go to school supplies. You know what you need to study. You need your binders, your notebooks, your notebook paper, pens, pencils, highlighters, flashcards, laptops, if you're into studying that way, and do not forget your charger. What else would I suggest? That might be it. If I can come up with something else, it's gonna be in the description box. Miscellaneous. This is the stuff that I was really looking forward to getting to. I don't know why. These are some things that I wish that people would've told me to bring before I started training. Laundry supplies. I did not bring them with me, but I had to get them when I got to training. That's probably the best way to do it. But your Tide Pods, your little stain remover pen, a laundry bag. I did not have a laundry bag, and this was something I desperately needed during training. An umbrella, very important. Shower shoes, also important. Disgusting! Wear your shower shoes. Along with shower shoes, you also need walking around shoes, like house slippers, something like that, because most hotels have carpet. That's gross. You may have a roommate, you may not, but either way, for your comfort, I would suggest earplugs and an eye mask. Speaking of masks, bring a lot of face masks. Even though right now, aboard the aircraft and in the airports, you do not have to wear masks. Training and on the line can be totally different, so you might still have to wear your face mask. And if you're just into wearing face masks like I am, if you think that's what you want to do, still wear your face mask. No one's going to judge you. It's fine. A lunch bag. Some trainings provide lunch. Some don't. Either way, having a lunch bag is just a good idea in case you just want to bring it that day. You have some leftovers, stuff like that. Bring your lunch bag. Along with the lunch bag, you need probably an ice pack, maybe some Ziploc bags, Tupperware, things like that. I'm going to try to fire the rest of this stuff off. I really, really want this video to not be too long. You need a water bottle, extension cord, clothes hangers, especially if you have a roommate, Amazon Fire Stick. I definitely study best when I'm also watching TV. That's just me. A fire stick, Roku, anything like that so you can like relax and de-stress. A book. I loved reading by the pool when I was in training and you can make some time for it. Anything else that I forgot to list will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Good luck at training. Congratulations and have a blessed day.